I have to sit right here for the bit to, so you can see the steam because the wall's gray. It's easier to see that way. Grab your cup of hot coffee, chocolate, whatever you prefer, and cozy in because it is a stormy night out there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss for I Shinobi. We have episode 341 and 342 of our One Piece watch through today, and it is getting spooky. Kaburu, Usopp, and Nami have made it to Dr. Hogback's castle, and he's kind of a chill dude. I'm not even going to lie. Obviously, he has some backstory, some history with Brooke. I'm pretty sure he He's most likely the one that took Brooke's shadow because I mean in the quick flash that we saw whenever Dr. Hogback was thinking about it it was kind of like a confrontation between the two but nonetheless you're learning more and more about this island as time goes on and I'm assuming the the, the onion is just gonna keep on unwrapping unpeeling I don't know if you're new to the channel drop us up and hit that big wood bell and let's hop into it I wish he could do. <laughs> Chopper's feeling all like confident about himself, especially after Doc Dr. Hogback called him a doctor and he's a job. Oh my gosh! Wait, are they? So they're not with her? Oh, wait, they're just chilling there. <laughs> Base Chopper. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Because you're not allowed in. If you're scared. Brother. Brother. That she wants to leave and, like, what? Find the rest of the crew? What is that? Uh, there goes another experiment, I'm guessing. So, oh, like there's experiments inside and outside? There's creatures? Have they not seen them walking around and whatnot? What was that sound? Oh! I'm not staring! I'm not! Oh my goodness! What, zombies? Dog, does Dr. Hogback actually seem like a normal guy to you, Chopper? I guess Chopper's built himself up as like this idol in his head, especially. Oh. Bro's peeping Tom! Oh. <laughs> what? Dumb and dumber. Oh. Bro, she naked, Mr. Ghost? Oh my gosh! What is he doing? Uh, and the woman on the ship? Oh, the one that licked Robin? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so uncomfortable. Choppers. <laughs> he thanked her <laughs> just for existing. Bro, this ghost? Horny as hell. He is the one that licked Robin. Bro's gonna be thrown in jail, too. Oh, he's dipping. Dude, how do you fight an invisible ghost? Oh, Hogback's like, ah, another day in the, the silent science lab. I'm staring respective, respectfully, I promise. What about leaving? You think she understands? Ooh. Oh no, I forgot about the spider web. Yeah, this this ghost catching a case, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's Minnie Mary. Okay. There's a Brook ship got caught too, so he's just chilling somewhere. Because he wouldn't dip without his ship. I would assume not. What a nice sign. The outside kind of looks like an amusement park entrance. Luffy, I don't think food is as uh encouraging as it is to you for Zoro. And the gang moves on. Oh, there's the uh Cerberus again. Okay, so they they're ending they're gonna end up around the same place that Nami Chopper Nusov did at least. Dude, the wolf looks so mad or sad. It was like hanging its head. They're not intimidated at all. <laughs> and it, it, Luffy's gonna try to eat him. So that has an 82 on it. Yeah, I'm guessing they're all just numbered, all his experiments. He is wolfing at them. I don't think uh, Cerberus want the smoke, bro. I mean, it does look quite kind. I won't even lie. See, any other regular person would have mattered. Cer the Cerberus is going to be like, oh my god, what are we dealing with here? He's being so kind to it. Never mind. Down. They, he just had to alpha it a little bit. Oh, <laughs> you look blue. 
Let me swear. <laughs> Yo, why Frankie run like that? Well, you are still wearing sunglasses, Frankie. I guess they did have, uh, what's his name to lead the way with the carriage. How is that? Oh, I guess because Zoro's with them, they're inherently all going to get lost. Are they sharing a drink? Usually Luffy would be like hype about this. Something so crazy like that. He's trying to catch the tree. <laughs> I like the, the difference of how this island seemed terrifying whenever Nami and them were exploring, but then Luffy and them are just like absolute menaces to everything that lives here now. Oh my God, stop. Anything that just looks remotely weird, he's gonna ask to join the crew. There's just that much room on Sunny. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Absalom. Oh, he did know who it was. Ride. Ooh, villain music. Does bro have whiskers? It's like growling. Oh, that's the first ghost that was spying on them. Okay, maybe he's an experiment too. He sounds like he's like growling and stuff. Capturing your prey? Oh no. It is a trap that they're just walking into. Man, I wanted to have faith in Hogback being an okay dude, but I guess all signs pointed against it. I feel like the big thing is just going to be like the line drawn between cruelty and not and like, like how he does operate on animals and whatnot. It inevitably hurts some. I'm guessing Absalom is like his best experiment. Tommy got the sweater vest fit. Charge me for it. <laughs> I was gonna say, it is something Nami would say that he owes her money for it. Usopp is just the hollow earth people. Usopp's just coping because he doesn't want to believe that like ghosts are real. You saw zombies! You fought zombies! Was it all illusions? <laughs> Yep, he's clouded. Conspiring with zombies. They're probably like sort of his army. Usopp, you're safe with your uh, your garlic and everything. I mean, but Chopper knows the hogback wouldn't give him any answers. He wouldn't even let him see his lab. That kind of looked like Roger, low key. Oh, well, he's a 329. Even the portraits have numbers. <laughs> This straight up Scooby Doo, bro. Wait, this is where they ate earlier? What do you mean, why is it pitch black? They probably just blew the lights out. Ooh, this is creepy, bro. There's the hog himself. That one's just staring at them. Again, kind of like heavy Adams family vibes, especially that one. Oh. Oh, it's the. Yeah, the bat. I, I can't trust Hilden. Yep, he left them. Left them to die. Is it that wrong to assume that? Oh, like they're gonna sleep, bro. If this stuff happens when you're awake, I'd be terrified to sleep. Yep. He's gonna come up with some excuse that they can't leave. They can't be out at night or something. Oh, Mademoiselle? What the? Is this Harry Potter? Is this enough proof for you, Usopp? Hey, she kind of bad though. I want. Oh, oh, she got that Orochimaru neck. She's out of the frame. Oh, she kind of bad. Oh, she's going to consume them. No, Chopper! No! I know he looks like a little snack, but he's not. Well, that has number two. I think she had a number as well. Wink Chuck, head hog of the zombies. So they're all technically zombies. I'm surprised Hilden isn't attacking. I'm not going to lie. He seems kind of like an op too. Even that's a zombie? Bro, it was the pig on the wall, I swear. Is it everything here alive? Everything, I'm going to assume everything with a number is alive. Yeah, she has one on her neck. Is the chandelier alive? Wouldn't be shocked either. Oh no, not the interior decorating. Oh my God, all the paintings are just awake now. He said back, back. 
Oh yeah, because the zombies outside, the fire was like the ultimate counter to them too. Bro, if only Ace were here with him, he'd just like keep his hand out and just keep it in front of himself. Didn't he say they'd be more in danger outside though? It's locked. Bro, how are you not still on fire? I wanted to just cut to Luffy and all of them just having like a jolly adventure outside. All right, well, uh, a little bit more was alive in, in this castle than I uh, previously thought. I thought it was just gonna be like secret entrances and whatnot in the portraits, but turns out they're all just living beings. Episode 342, let's get it. Now the thing is, are they trying to eat them or kill them? Oh wait, this is gonna be a secret entrance, 100%. The fireplace, bro. Oh, that's that. Okay, yeah, I, I recognize that one from the painting. Wait for it. Push the wall or something. I don't. Guys, it's a haunted mansion. You gotta be thinking of these things. Come on, I can't do all the heavy lifting here. I imagine there's a million of these bad boys. I was like, did they not anticipate that? Oh, they're gonna find the lab. Honestly, just book it. Also, zombies, the thing is, they can't be that physically strong, right? Is that Usopp? That's not Usopp. Did he just hover away? Oh, well, they're gonna probably chase them to the lab wherever it goes. Surprise zombies. Fuck like, yeah, just every single portrait is a zombie just vibing. It had to be these three that were like stuck here all by themselves. I think that's why it, it uh, over exaggerated when they met Brooke, how scared they were just to board his ship. Dog, that camera shot. God's work. They're just like the three big babies of the group, especially in terms of ghosts. So it's only their luck. Oh. Oh. Looks like a shrine. Oh, is this, what's his name's bride? Oh, and she looked kind of like Nami. So it makes sense that he would like want to replace her. Oh, that's her? Oh, but like before she was resurrected. Yeah, maybe she was the bride though, to that one guy, the invisible guy. Cause like I said, it seems like a shrine. So the whole plate thing had uh, had some leverage or some weight to it? No, oh, like I guess I think it's that one guy. Absol? They're great pictures, I'm not even gonna lie. Mm. I love this OST so much. I don't know how many times it's played, but it's so good. Oh, and died. Oh. So she, yeah, she was resurrected. I thought that was just kind of assumed. She has like stitches and stuff and she looks like a zombie. So I figured she was just like the ones in the paintings. I was so ahead of the game, bro. Have they all been coping this hard? I kind of just thought that was how it went. Yeah, they're all resurrected beings. They're not, this isn't smoke and mirrors, guys. I feel like if Sanji or any of them were there, they would have been sitting in the corner like, yeah, yeah, I, I thought we were on that page. This is the grand line. And I think I'm ahead of the game on them being his, his test subjects, his experiments. That's why they're numbered. Ooh, that looks like it's got some good loot in it. I knew she would have an eye for it. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's got, oh, it's not even locked. Oh my. Dog! It's a, it, what are those, those chests from Dark Souls? It's everything in this place is zombie, man. Oh, Nami's got a bit of resolve to her. Mm. True, it's gotta be somewhere then. There is treasure somewhere then. Oh, somebody's got a blade. Bodyguard. Yo, he kind of got Brooks laugh. Wait, that is Brooks laugh. Hey. Oh, there's something going on here then. That's exact. That's the exact same. There's no way that's just a coincidence. <laughs> is these, they do need to give him a talking to. This is this is getting bad. Yeah. Hey, he's human. I'd say Frankie's more human than Cyborg. Yeah, a lot of him is like, I guess his arms and his entire front. I'd say like over half is human. Of course, Robin being the intuitive one. Aww. That's what I assumed. Negative. 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 I feel like it has to get to a point where this is like, oh, another ghost. Okay, I feel like I should get used to this on this island. There seem to be quite many. What's in uh? What's in the thing on Frankie on his back? Should I know? What are they carrying? I'm not gonna assume it's a weapon since he has the weapons like built into him. 
keep them as pets. Okay, so he's moved on from recruiting people and moving to pets. Finally, Frankie actually like moved his sunglasses up. I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot he could breathe fire. I don't think he's done that since he and Luffy met. An epic fail. <laughs> oh, the ghost passing through him just like rolled his insecurities. Oh, now we know the effects. <laughs> a clam? Oh my gosh. That is powerful. One goes through Robin and she just stands there. She's like, I was depressed for a while. I'm not going to lie. It can't get much worse. What would happen to Zoro? Is Zoro's like will too strong as mental? Here we go. Oh my gosh. You can take down even the strongest of warriors. Oh, negative. They're saying negative because it's like negative emotions. Yeah. Like, because you can't even hit them. How do you fight a ghost? Like, if that invisible guy, like, you pass through him, I don't know how you would you would even fight him off. Maybe like an AOE attack? But yeah, like, if you pass through him, I don't know. <laughs> Bros is getting caught. Even the Cerberus is laughing. Dude, Robin's fit for this. This this island is fire. Absolutely fire. Yeah, it feels like a hogback's like security cameras. What's in the fog? Oh, a graveyard. Oh, this is a graveyard where they fought the zombies. They're getting closer and closer to reuniting. I'm not gonna lie. I've taken a liking to the Cerberus. I would not be shocked if they kept it as a pet after anything that goes down here. I can't tell what it says. Oh, now nah, here's their first experience with zombies. I was not even remotely scared. I love Luffy so much, man. He's a no, no. I got you, bro. I got you. No, no, don't sweat it. <laughs> He's such a dumbass, man. Oh. Was that one like a ballerina in, a, in the past life? They're gonna experience a lot different crew than what they did with Usopp. I mean, Usopp and them put up a fight, but I don't think Luffy uh, is even remotely scared of them. And bro's got gears now, I mean. I actually do wonder the next time we'll see like gear two or gear three need to be used too. Now that we know like those powers that he has. Yeah, no, the zombies don't stand a chance. I'm sorry. Not to mention everybody's power spikes, actually. Oh, I like that. It's all their it's all their bounties together. So it's it's their combined power. Well, I mean, technically Nami, Usopp, and Chopper aren't. Chopper's little five berry bounty. His, his little baby bounty. It's a different laugh. Oh, is this the lab? It is so hard for Chopper to tiptoe with his squeaky little footsteps, man. Why is he leaning in like that? It's the lab. Oh shoot. Oh no, what's the knife? What is he doing? Oh, a glorious Mario. Chris Pratt? There's Sinjuri. Is she really rooting on his downfall? I wonder if he took her by force and she never wanted to be here and she's just one of his experiments. Or he resurrected her without her ever wanting to be. Spaghetti soup? <laughs> At least she's consistent. She always chooses the worst possible dishes for, yeah, for no plates. It's like her trying to do everything she can with the last bit of, I guess, whatever consciousness she has in there to work against him. Gosh, 741. It looks huge. They got to put it together more and more eventually to realize that everybody, everything here is an experiment. And once he's done, he just tosses the zombie out. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. I think we're, we're here on the same page now. Not his medicine. Oh no, something's watching them. Dude, the floor moving is so creepy. Oh, it's the bodyguard. The guy that has Brooks laugh. Uh-oh. He has stitches as well. Ah, okay. I'm glad I'm not crazy. Is this... Did he give this guy Brooks shadow, maybe? I don't know how much a shadow has to do with your consciousness and how that would share a laugh, but... God, the, the castle design is so cool, though. 
I mean, the entire island as a whole, this back to back with Water 7 in East Lobby, they've been killing it with the, the island designs and how you just think about the scale of everything. Like, what will this be used for? What will that be used for? At the climax of whatever happens here, whatever goes down, what is this all going to look like at the end? That's always my thought uh, going into islands at this point. And I feel like it should be because we've seen how crazy the scale of One Piece gets. But slowly, we're finding out more and more about this island. I definitely shouldn't trust Hog back at all. And I guess this, this zombie has some part of Brook in him. Again, I don't know if it's his whole shadow that was put into him or why Hogback would take Brook's shadow and put it into someone else. What kind of beef Brook even had with Hogback. It's a lot of revolving questions that I like to just have just in the air to kind of grab out and see how each puzzle piece fits in as we learn more and more information. So it seems like Absalom is probably going to be more of like a lurking type villain that feels more... I, I, I recognize that he's probably one of Hogback's experiments, but feels more like a right-hand man type thing, like Hogback like the, the brains and Absalom is going to be probably more of the brawn but that's just kind of what I've gathered thus far I, I feel like this swordsman could also be like a, a trifecta of this this group of villains if I can call them villains yet I don't know I don't know his intentions but that's it for the episodes I hope you did enjoy drop a sub if you're new to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace negative negative